bit, but I did want to start a vlog. I think it's just going to be a day in the life vlog. I don't want to make this long. I'd like to make some shorter vlogs, just something to kind of warm up my system because I haven't been making videos lately and I feel like I've just, anything more than 20 minutes of finished footage is just gonna completely wreck me. I'm going to be filming a video. I'm gonna do my 24 books in 2024 video. I decided to do it uh, just because I know that I will be reading 24 books this year and I think I know at least 24 that I will read, so I decided to do that. I just got Piranesi on my Libby app. I was like 16th in line and now I'm first. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to go ahead and start Piranesi today. It says that it's only like eight hours long, so I might also finish it today, especially since I do need to clean up, what is this space? The living room. I'm going to also be cleaning up my desk space. We recently got a projector instead of a TV. It kind of reorganized my entire area. So right now my desk area is kind of a collect-all as well as having some things that have collected over there and there. I have some cleaning to do. So I'm going to be cleaning up this desk space, making it a little bit more usable because right now I can't use it. Like I want to write today. I also want to read today. I want to film today. I'd also love to go outside today, but for right now, I'm not going anywhere because this is a disaster. Also, super annoying, but uh, currently not able to be fixed, is the fact that my tripod, this camera, for you, is being used for the projector. I have to hold you and carry you, which is not ideal for a vlog. Also getting a second bookshelf, uh, not this week, not this vlog. So in anticipation for that, I'm cleaning up my desk area. I'm getting things sorted and ready. It'll also make it easier for me to film a video because it's better if I'm filming a sit-down video if my behind me is not chaotic. Cleaning, Piranesi, and some writing. Right now, Yumi, who is my editor, has my sixth draft. Uh, my beta readers had my fourth draft, then I wrote a fifth draft, and we are live editing it together. So she's going through the chapters, and then as she has notes and things, I'm fixing them as I get them. Taking the time with them, uh, if it's just a punctuation thing, I'm accepting it because I trust Yumi far more than myself to get punctuation correct. We're just doing last minute touches. It feels really insane to say that, but we're doing last minute touches to really just sum up a rambly long amount. But I have notes from her, so I'm going to catch up on those. We're in Years and Seasons is the name of the chapter. It's a very long chapter though. You have a pop of each season. It was voted a lot of people's favorite chapters when the beta readers gave me feedback. So I'm really excited to go into it. I really like the changes I made because because they felt like minimal but very fresh. Also, Piranesi. If you don't know what Piranesi is, neither do I. Uh, this was the book that was most often told to me I shouldn't know anything going into it. So all I know is Piranesi is a being that lives in a house and the house is like a labyrinth, I think. This is a fantasy book uh, or speculative. I really don't know anything about this book. I just told you every bit of information I know besides the fact that it's by Susanna Clark. of the way in so it's kind of hard to tell chapter wise but we just got the setup and I think we were asked a very important question but I didn't get to hear the answer because I finished cleaning and wanted to do a quick update just to get my thoughts out on the table. I do love this. I don't know what's going on but it feels like I'm reading a whimsical very heartfelt version of Gideon the Ninth and I swear I'm not trying to sound obsessive over Gideon the Ninth like I don't know how she got brought up 
from this video because this is such a different genre. Gideon the Ninth is nothing like Piranesi except for it kind of is and I don't know why yet. I just, I'm getting the sensation that things are passing me by. Piranesi is saying things to me that I'm like, should I be paying attention to this? Because this seems off. This seems weird. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this because everyone has said like it's better to go in knowing nothing and then I'm setting you up for failure. But I will just say the overwhelming sensation of my brain is kind of being scratched right now. Like I don't know what's happening, but there's something clawing at my brain and it's making me think the same feeling I got with Gideon the Ninth I am getting with Piranesi. Gideon the Ninth is vibe wise very different from Piranesi. Uh, Gideon the Ninth is like a sword fighting space opera lesbian murder mystery and like I can say that Piranesi already has kind of a cozy vibe to it. I don't know what's going on. I don't really think Piranesi knows what's going on either but I really am enjoying it. Right now there's just a little bit of exploration in the world which is his home but I, I don't know quite what all encompasses that home yet. We talked about how only 15 people ever existed in all of humanity and that he thinks that that's that that's normal and chill. I'm concerned about what's going on but I'm also just like I, I, I don't know it has a wondrous vibe to it. A draw you in feeling where I already really like the character and I'm not getting much but it's giving me a lot. My desk is clean. Not a lot of the room is clean in the way I would want it to be like the cathartic ah yes nice new fresh room before and after glow is not there but that's because there's so many things I had to pile under my desk for when the bookshelf comes in because there's some things that don't have a home and I don't want to give them a home until their home arrives I got this lamb from Ireland he's gonna go on the new bookshelf Sarai and Laszlo my substitute which is a Pokemon he's going on the bookshelf I'm, I'm collecting a vibe I don't know what the vibe is yet but it's coming together books will go on the bookshelf as they so often do. I feel like I decluttered and organized the chaos, which is all I could really ask for. I do have some exciting things in my desk area that I want to show. And I can't think of a more optimal time to just show my desk than in a video where people click on it because they've decided to just watch me go throughout my day. This is my little note taking for if I have quick notes to do. It looks like leaves, so that's cute. My several different pairs of glasses, I can't really explain that away except for to say I did sponsorships in the past for two different glasses companies at the same time uh, so I ended up with like six or seven pairs of glasses and I don't regret it but holy crap it's a lot of glasses little Bulbasaur with a flower these are three filled notebooks uh, with booktube content and my writing content. I was actually really excited that I found all three and can have them together. And then this is my current one. I don't like full-size notebooks because they're just not as portable for me, but these little campus ones that I get, this is literally my 24 and 24. I just started this one and I just love the fact that I can just have them all lined up. Uh, we got Gideon, Harrow, and then Nona, but Nona is in the pile for the 24 and 24 video, Babel. This is the Lioness Rampant series and I just reread it. Um, I highly recommend this series. I think it aged really well. It's really just wonderful. And it's where I got a lot of inspiration for my books as far as writing style. I want people to feel similarly to how I feel when I read these books when they read my book. So I have these here because I actually just reread them and they are well worn and loved. Gigi. My friend got me Gigi and then uh, a different friend got me my Gigi mug. Under here is my deadlines and things like that. Uh, I'm trying not to show it and then this is actually for ARC readers and like people to reach out to when I'm looking for early reviews. Very exciting terrifying, sickening. And then my partner just got me this. I love this. This is a keyboard that attaches to my tablet. I'm very excited to use this at my desk. I've used it a couple of times at my kotatsu, which is like my heated table. I didn't clean that area. But I want to use it at my desk. Like I want to sit at my desk looking outside. I'm just very excited about my desk area. And then having all my books really close by is really nice too. They were behind me, now they're beside me, which just feels better. It's a nice little nook and I'm really excited about it. And then I had to move my mirror, so now my mirror is over there, which is kind of messing with me a little bit. This was a mild clean. Once I realized I wasn't going to be able to fully clean, I lost steam real quick. So yeah. Ba -bum. So now that that's done and over with, I think what I'm going to do next is listen to a little bit more of Piranesi and go out to get some lunch. Uh, there's a cafe down the street that we really, really love and our regulars at. I've never had their lunch menu before and I really want to try it. They also have a cute little corgi next door that we always feed treats. Um, so we can go say hello to him. And then when I get back, I'm going to get some writing done uh, just so I keep up to date uh, with Yumi's edits. Her deadline is a little bit sooner than mine because I'm following her uh, down the pages. 
is. That editing style is actually really working for me. I don't think it's sustainable for every draft, but it is working for this draft because this is the last draft. I feel like when I started draft five and handed it off to Yumi, I knew that I wasn't making any more developmental changes. I knew like everything felt really solid and real and lived in. This draft feels really good. It feels like my strongest draft and it feels the most ready I've ever felt to put it out in the world. My main uh, concern is my punctuation and then a couple different areas with prose. Um, my beta readers were really helpful saying areas that they felt like were clunky or they didn't understand something and I felt like I, I fixed most of those but there's a couple areas where I really want Yumi's second opinion. And then I, I, I don't know what more there is to do besides proofread and then advanced readers. <laughs> I also know when my book cover is going to be revealed. It's also going to be when pre-orders are up. So that makes me physically ill. I don't even know what to think of that, but it's going to be March 20th. On March 20th, Spring Equinox is when I'm going to do my cover reveal and do ebook pre-orders. I'm very excited for it. Uh, but it also means that I need to stay on my deadline just so like I keep everything in the right order or it'll just be a domino effect and things will start to unravel from there. So yeah, very excited for that. But also like don't know what to do with myself half the time because I've never done any of this before and it feels like I'm making things up. Like I, f I feel like I'm gaslighting y'all. <laughs> Like, I feel, I feel like this book is not going to come out and nothing's going to happen. And I just, I don't know how that's possible because I'm just going to keep doing these things until it's out. And then I'll just be as, as surprised as you are when it's there. Okay, let's go get lunch. Uh, and then listen to some more Piranesi. I'll check back in with you and then, uh, I'll get some writing done too. I'm going to just do all the things today. We'll see. <sighs> okay. I ended up filming the 24 and 24 video because uh, they weren't serving lunch yet at the cafe. They were still serving breakfast and they make a mean breakfast, but that's not what I'm here for today. Uh, filmed that. That took about an hour, um, which the whole point of this vlog was that I wanted something short and sweet to do. And then I filmed an hour long video. It's mostly just mistakes though. Like the video won't be an hour. The video will probably be about 20 to 24 minutes, but the raw footage, me rambling on and on and on like this, you know, it's an issue. Me with makeup versus me haggard in the morning without. That's rough. I'm on my period though, so I'm breaking out and I'm just feeling self-conscious about it. It's, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna go now. I'm gonna listen to more Piranesi and then I'll actually update you. Then did a little bit of outlining as far as book two goes uh, because book two has a zero draft written of it. I know like the basic idea of what's going to happen but lots of things changed when I did my big revamp of uh, book one. A couple of different things came to mind and I wrote those down. Things are going really well. I'm afraid of things going poorly just because they're going so well but yeah that felt really good. On the walk to and from the cafe I listened to more Piranesi. Sweet little bean don't think he's a reliable narrator. I think Piranesi might be adorable, sweet, earnest, innocent, naive, and also unreliable. There is a gap in understanding of what's happening uh, that's slowly being filled in, but I also like, I don't want him to be hurt. I need him intact. I need him to be taken care of. And there are other elements and entities around him that I don't fully trust, that he trusts, which makes me just so anxiety written because I'm like, I need you to not trust, uh, but he does. So that is happening. I think that this might be cozy fantasy. I haven't seen it really on a cozy fantasy list, but maybe I'm not looking far back enough. Right now, I just want to pick this up all the time and it just makes me feel good. I haven't read a book like this in a while where apart from minor anxieties and paranoia, I feel really good while I'm reading it. So I think that this might be a five star. I mean, it's on my five star prediction list. So I already thought it was going to be a five star, but I think I'm right. And you know, we got to take those when they come. Overall, a pretty productive day so far. It's still only, it's only two. I have like the whole day ahead of me. I don't even know what I want to do. My partner and I were talking about watching a movie later because so we might do that. Uh, 
we watched Asteroid City uh, last week, and that was really cute. It's a Wes Anderson film. I'm a huge Wes Anderson fan. Like, I'm a total sucker for his aesthetic and, like, what he does with his movies. Um, I like the little in-jokes. I like the reoccurring characters and just... I like how he does things. Asteroid City wasn't my favorite, but it was still very good, and I think a watch through again, um, I would appreciate it even more. So, um, I think today we might be watching uh, The Killer, which is, like... Michael Fassbender, so we're really switching it up. I think it's like an action spy thriller. It looked really good though. I watched the trailer and it looked really good, so we might watch that later. I'll write more later tonight. Uh, I wanna take a break so I don't like burn myself out with it. I start to change things that don't need to be changed. Just I get busy body energy if I edit too long. It's gonna be a one day vlog, so I'll check in later today. There's a lot going on and yeah, no, I definitely don't want to give any of it away But I just I'm just going to consistently say I do not trust anyone besides Piranesi I just want Piranesi to be okay and for his little home to be okay and by little I mean ginormous and expansive and possibly never-ending. I just need him to be okay. It's been a really relaxing day. I have some things to do tomorrow, but I think I might not go ahead and close out this vlog just yet. Instead, take you with me so that I can finish Piranesi tomorrow because I have two long train rides tomorrow and then I'm going to breakfast and art exhibit and then we'll kind of see from there and I only have about an hour of it left, so I'm going to finish it. So I'll go ahead and extend this out to a weekend vlog. I'm really loving my projector and what I have set up right now. I just put in Piranesi aesthetics on Pinterest and was scrolling through the vibes of Piranesi while listening to Piranesi and then having like the projector with the cozy cafe in the background under my heated kotatsu table. I had a really nice relaxing day. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this chapter because I'm a little stressed and then I'm going to head to bed and then I'll check in tomorrow. Piranesi. That was captivating. I'm gonna give it five stars for sure. So yay. One of my five star predictions was actually a five star. Oh man, that was a really good book. I think I need to reread it. Um, I'm going to get it physically. The hardcover is kind of expensive, but I'm gonna wait until my next paycheck and I think I'm going to splurge and get it because I want to annotate it. I want to reread it. I want to be back with Piranesi again. There were some times where I was so worried and anxious. I think the next time I read this, it'll feel like a comfort read. Even this time, it felt like a comfort read. I was just so worried because I didn't know how the story was gonna go. I didn't know how it was gonna end. I felt so much for him. There were some hard parts in this book where I was both rooting for Piranesi and I also had like grief and sadness for things changing. This book did not go where I thought it was going to go. I would just go in with no expectations and I get why people don't want to say anything. They don't want to lead you anywhere. They want you to just kind of wander with him and I think that that's good. I think that's the way to do it. I think that I'm with the majority there. It's 4 30 here. I had breakfast. I went to an art exhibit, which I couldn't film because it's art. And then we just kind of wandered around Nagoya a little bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I completed a book. I got my editing pretty much done. I'm definitely not in the mood to write right now at all. Like, I'm feeling like book hangover. I would have severe imposter syndrome if I try to write right now my book because Piranesi is just in my head and it was not only very different, but it was like the perfect book. I don't think it's my favorite book of all time, but I have to admit that I'm like, is that perfect? It might be perfect. Perfect. No notes. No notes that I could tell you anyway. I'm not gonna spoil things for you. That was a very satisfying reading experience and I think it's a perfect way to end this vlog. Thanks for joining me for the weekend. Let me know what you are up to. Uh, if you've read any five-star reads this year or if you've read Piranesi, go ahead and leave an ocean or a uh, wave emoji. But whether you do or not, I hope you're enjoying the sun or more stars wherever you are and until next time, bye!